the most arse ways to go up something. I spent an hour and a half already fucking getting lost, so. <laughs> Pine needles through my full body now. <laughs> I won't be laughing now when she jumps up and bites it. <laughs> now, we am going down here to see if this opens up. Oh, it looks like it does. You can see a clearing. And we need to hike up that way. So, let's just see. Found a nice opening in the middle of the woods. Be nice to camp here, wouldn't it? Clear sky above you. Blocked from every direction from the wind. Wow. This was a very, very long way to go to where I need to go. I'm still not there yet. We are going uphill though. Glen Gala's over there, so <laughs> we'll follow the deer, they know where they're going. It's definitely opening up anyway, it's bright over here. We're up high anyway, the trees are getting much smaller. Holy God, that was uh, the most arse ways to go up something. I usually go that way. I decided to take a detour to try find these different areas. Oh my God, I got stuck in piles of feckin' small <laughs> trees and, oh, yeah. So I'm feeling uh, pine, pine needles through my full body now. <laughs> so, reason I came here today it's Craig Namora is all the way in the distance over there is Limerick where I'm from and I'm always from my house I can see this exact spot so I just wanted to come here to check it to see what's the the ground like for camping and it's absolutely fine so it's definitely a place that I'll come so I can kind of camp up and I can look over and see where I live. I might even bring a telescope, see what the wife is doing. Spying on her. I wonder if the drone would have reached that far. <laughs> oh yeah. So nice cup of tea now at the top. I can actually see the top from here. That's the spot over there. There is a lovely area there as well. So we'll check the grounding there as well. But Another reason why I think I wanted to come up here today is it's coming up to the anniversary of la, when I had to put Lex down last year. So, and there's one picture that I absolutely adore. It's, I'll put it up there. Jesus, look at this. No, sh no shortage of water up here anyway. Weirdly enough, that lake, as I'm speaking of Lex, one time that was all covered in moss. <laughs> <laughs> and she went straight in thinking it was grass but yeah there's one picture I have of myself and Lex at the top of Craig Namora and it popped up in my on the Google memories there um, so it kind of prompted me to to come here and uh, pay homage to an amazing friend with my new buddy Freya so she can have a look. <laughs> so the one thing I do notice about this area, it's extremely boggy. And uh, I remember one time, and you know what, I actually, I actually had it recorded, but yeah, I didn't want to show it. For one, what did I say? For one, I didn't want to, I suppose, worry my parents, especially who were always worrying me, or worried about me solo camping and solo hiking. But up here, I'll show you when we get up there. 
there's a path that leads all the way from Broadford over to the, the Moilosa, which is over here. But it's extremely boggy. It does, it, how will we say? Yeah, it is boggy. It's not green bog, it's actual peat bog. So when I was up there, it looked absolutely normal. And I went, I stepped in and went all the way up to my children's allowance. And uh, yeah, that was, uh, and you know, when you go into mud like that and the suction, it's a nice stone. If that's loose, it's coming with me. <laughs> Too big, have enough of them. I'll leave there. I'll pick it up on the way back. But do you know when you go into the likes of kind of mud and it creates that suction, so when you pull your leg, it's just hard to get it out. Well, that's what happened, and it was it was very worrying, being honest. I got no, I got it out, don't get me wrong, but it's only it was my first time properly getting another stone, properly getting stuck. So yeah, I, I didn't, uh, I didn't want to show it. Might be a better way over there. We'll keep going. Okay, we'll keep going. Nice cup of coffee at the top now here. And I'm actually hungry now. Um, so, let's keep going. There's some month of rain on the horizon. But, yeah, we'll get up here. I don't mind when it's raining if I'm up there. Because, you won't be sweating as much. That's a beautiful valley, actually. Lucky enough, I've Limerick there. That, what we went up is, that's called Glen Gala there. It's actually, uh, it's called uh, Witch Mountain. Um, it, used to, it, it used to be where they burnt witches, up there. So, yeah. And this actually, if I remember correctly, this was called uh, the Valley of No Names and um, there, there still is a load of stone um, pillars down there of burial sites of uh, there's no names on them so they call it the Valley of No Names but yeah you have uh, my loss over here then you have the uh, Tuntin and the Ara Mountains over here that's the Millennium Cross over here and then you have Keeper Hill right here um, you have the Silver Mines and the Devil's Bit um, yeah and then in the far distance you won't be able to pick it up but you can see all the Galtis so surrounded surrounded so I am ok we'll keep going and uh, just make our way up to Craig Namora have our lunch I'll see if I can redo that picture that I got <laughs> with uh, Lex Careful around here now, it's fairly buggy. This dog is just going buck ape. I know you have whippets that they're more for short distance hikes. Like we've done about five, six K into this now and she's still doing laps of honor, like just zoomies. What do you do? <laughs> always in boggy areas and areas you don't really know, always have a pole with you. Even not for stability, but just to check the ground before you step in it. Because you could go deep and slow grass just look like anything else really. And there's lots of uh, like puddles around here and you have no idea how deep they are. So that's why I brought a pole. Well, that's an absolute lie. I brought two poles and I lost the bottom <laughs> off my other one. I have it in my bag. So this is my good black diamond one as well. I backtracked all right, but still couldn't find it. Um, so I've, I've, I've some other ones at home and hopefully they're, interchange, they're interchangeable. So hopefully, if not, if not, look, I'll go and I, um, surely you can get spares of the bottoms of them because uh, yeah, you can get cheap ones, but these aren't cheap. They're like 80 bucks or something. Do you know what? It's less buggy on that side. Let's try it. Yeah. 
it is a bit more solid underfoot anyway then than that what are you doing what are you what are you doing I think that dog has lost the plot come on I better uh check her for ticks when I get home and check myself as well now this is what I was on about a while ago it's like a bog path where Freya come here good girl where that leads all the way to my losa. you wouldn't think is you just think it was mud and you'd walk away in it but uh yeah so I I learned my lesson there, just stay up off, stay up off it. You could catch a lot of people out. So, yeah. There's such a dead heat here today. There's actually like zero wind. It's pure stuffy and hot. <laughs> I can see the top. Oh, a nice cup of coffee now. I'm really looking forward to it. Coffee time, I think, and get the coffee on before it rains. This is a very campable spot. Nice. Freya's not liking the drone. It's her first time seeing it. <laughs> yeah, I won't be laughing now when she jumps up and bites it. <laughs> Coming to get us. Ah, uh. <laughs> uh, yes. In fairness, it's our first time seeing the drone, so. Don't worry. Come here. Don't worry. Do you want, I'll bring her down and leave her smell it. One second. Look. It's not going to hurt you. It's just a drone. <laughs> oh. Fucking losing it. All right, let's uh, let's get coffee on. <laughs> Relax. Jesus, like absolute rookie mistake today. I actually forgot gloves and a hat. Makes no sense. I always bring that stuff. Let's get tea on because there's a lot of rain coming in. So. <laughs> The midges aren't out yet anyway, which is good. No sign of rain at the moment, so. Would you believe me if I said I had a new stove today? <laughs> so first I made a windshield. It's just your normal windshield that you have, but I rounded it. And you'll see why in a minute. It works really well. So I actually brought up with me. It's a new Lexada. Very, very, very good stove. And I actually have a review coming up on this soon. So let's try it out. Good girl. Got another one? I have two. These were Lex's favorite as well. Two cups in one. Pine cones and all. Sit down here now and have my lunch. You think that dog would be tired like? All she wants to do is play and I'm trying to relax. <laughs> Yeah, let's see what I have. I brought up a small cup, but I said I'd double it up. 
airplanes above us. We're right on the flight path to Shannon Airport, so you can hear that. <laughs> Freya wondering what an airplane is. <laughs> okay, let's get eaten. Anyways, I hope you're all doing well. Oh, you're over now, are you? Jesus, give me a second. Give me a second. Unbelievable. That's not a toy, that's my sparker. I kind of don't want to leave, but it's a... Uh... <laughs> These clouds are looking ominous. There's a lot of rain in the horizon, but I have wet gear, but I don't mind. <sighs> yeah. I was listening to a podcast when I was um, driving here. And they asked, it was about just, uh, they were talking about um, Einstein. And they asked Einstein once, who's the smartest person that he knows? And his answer was my chauffeur. So he told a story where Einstein was going around doing his um, his talks, but his chauffeur was everywhere with him. So Einstein said, "Well, I can't go on because I'm sick." Um, and his chauffeur said, "Well, I'll do it. Like I've been, I've been to thousands of your talks, so I know exactly what to say." So his uh, chauffeur went up. Word for word, perfection. Everything that Einstein said. And then it came to the Q&A. And they didn't know what Einstein looked like. So they thought that the chauffeur was Einstein. And when it came to the Q&A, someone asked a really scientific, uh, technical question. And the chauffeur turned around and said, that question is so easy, I'll even let my chauffeur answer it for you. And then Einstein from his seat answered the question. <laughs> oh yeah, I love those little stories. Okay, I'm pushing fate now, I think we need to get going. Yeah, definitely. See you later. I'm afraid, this way. Everywhere I look, it's raining. <laughs> it's pure here. You can't even see the Galtees, it's just like a black cloud over it. Unbelievable. Come on, Fred. No, this way. Come on. Good girl. Come on, done. I usually go further, but um, let's see if this route leads down to the path that goes over to where the car is. Maybe. Then again, <laughs> maybe not. Hmm. Freya, I'll go back up. No, I'm gonna stick to what I know. So I spent an hour and a half already at the start of this hike, feckin' getting lost, so. What are you doing? Come on. Come on. Go on. It looks like she was chasing something. <laughs> Once again, it's the second time I'm out that I saw a load of deer. I wasn't quick enough with the camera, but Freya, come here. She, she went sprinting, but um, 
quite proud though. Her whippets are so bad for recall, as in they don't come back because they're sight hounds and they see, they, what they see they go for. So she came back straight away. So she'd never catch them anyway. Well, you never know. <laughs> Not that she'd do anything. She still doesn't know what an angry dog is. So you could have a dog that's like wagging the tail and she'd go over happy. Then you'd have a dog who is frothing at the mouth, ready to kill her and she'd go over wagging her tail. So I'd say, even cats, she sprints up the cats and then she stands in front of them. And then she wags her tail and goes down to a playful stance and then runs away. <laughs> so yeah, there's no difference now. So, that's not good. Beautiful though. I'd love to set up a trail cam up here. The amount of uh, deer scatter around the place and the amount of, of uh, deer trails and fresh fresh uh, hoof prints. Really cool. Good to know. Oh, generally back at the car now. Glad I got to see those deer now, to be honest. Plenty of wildlife today. There's a bird up there. We saw some tadpoles, some crows, some deer. And then when I was back there, I heard something growling at me, which is weird. So, and I wasn't Freya, she was ahead of me, so. <laughs> anyway, thanks very much for joining me on this really humid day. Please hit the like button and all that. A few more reviews on the way. And uh, <laughs> we'll talk to you in the next one. Take care. Bye.